restlessness. I feel like we need some new age pads to really, you know, sell this. A Tuesday morning journey through space here. Live with you. Good morning. We both played the cube from the outside, and that was easy. But how to play it from the inside? Inside, things aren't so simple. Shifting walls. I mean, I guess I have a thing open that does, you know, hang on. Every corridor leads to the unexpected, to a different. We're here for you. Or are we? All right, that's enough of that. I'm going to unload that synthesizer. I do not need to play any more of that <laughs> during the course of the show. <clears throat> Notes look good. Uh, emails look selected. Selected. Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed Single Player Edition launches today on Xbox One and PS4. What? The new single player edition of Destroy All Humans 2 is now available for Xbox One and PS4. Why? Um... I guess that's... Is that how they're selling it? Like, there's a big thing at the top that just says, No Multiplayer. I, mean, I guess they didn't want to bring the multiplayer over, but... And, and then decided to try to spin that as a strength. That's a really funny. It's a funny press release. But yeah, didn't this run? Isn't it? Is this? Hmm. Whatever. Whatever. Let's do a show. Oh, wait. One last thing I forgot to look at. But I gotta. I might have to. I have to literally stop this stream, do a thing, and come back if this is the case. But let's look. Oh no. Hang on. Hang on. Gotta log back into this. No, we're good. Okay. Okay. Let's do a show. Okay. That's the end of the recording. Yeah, that, I mean, I, I think the Osprey Omega match was fucking incredible. I would also probably say that their Wrestle Kingdom match was a little better. But it's close. I don't, you know, Kenny getting dropped on his head. I'm just like, eh. I try not to get too wrapped up in the, like, injury. Like, hey, like, hey, don't do this dangerous stuff stuff because I'm not an expert. But I will say... Getting dropped on your head, not a good thing, especially like all the fucking continued CTE discoveries that people are seeing. But the man, yeah, the, the crowd was fucking hot for that show. I thought that the, I, I just, I love Willow Nightingale. A lot of great fun talent across that roster and then bringing in the New Japan folks and having them participate as well. Like, you know, you get some matches that are just like, hey, uh, there's no planet, there's no dimension in the existence where Jungle Boy wins that match against, uh, you know, Sonata. You're just like, I don't even know why this is, this seems like a weird choice for this one. But then I'm sure if you flipped it the other way, some of the other, you know, some of the New Japan matchups maybe didn't make sense, but it made sense in the context of like, well, AEW's got to get somebody over or get a storyline over or whatever else, so... I don't know. Um, it's, uh, but I, yeah, I, I thought it was a fantastic show. Um, I missed the first hour of it initially and had to go back and watch some of it and after the fact and, and whatever else. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I, uh, I don't know that I have anything bad to say about that, that entire show but again, but I have to go back and I'm, I'm probably going to watch some of that stuff again. But, uh, Takeshita, what if yeah, that guy's fucking badass, man? Holy shit! Just yeah, just this. Eddie Kingston is the best. Just this, this ah, this yeah. Ah, 
Eddie Kingston's so good. Um, crucial time for that company these days. Between the game coming out, Forbidden Door, new TV show, CM Punk returning, like a lot of moving parts over there right now. Um, so yeah, in- interesting, interesting. Anyway, I'm not gonna, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get going. I, I, I gotta go. <laughs> I really gotta go. So, um, have a good one. Be back in the morning. We'll talk about some, some AEW stuff and, um, you know, have a good one, everybody.